So now let's talk about a couple ways you can practice. One of the best ways to practice is to get yourself like a a wood kind of uh, a block like this. You can doesn't it could even be thicker if you want, but this is kind of nice because it's relatively thin where I can actually uh, screw on these potentiometers to really stay uh, stay in place. This pattern here is is the same pattern as a Les Paul and it's actually good if you can if you can actually trace out the same hole pattern distances of a Les Paul because if you're going to redo the uh, all the electronics replace the pots you can actually pre-wire everything before you drop it in and that makes it much easier and it's also a lot safer so you don't accidentally uh, burn some of the um, burn your guitar or uh, the solder dripping all over the cavity or even on the back of the guitar it can be a real mess. So yeah, this is a really good kind of uh, tool to have. This is, I, I think this is like a, a masonite type material, but you can use any type of wood. This is, uh, I believe, the, yeah, these pots are 3 8 I believe. So if you get a 3 8 drill, you can drill that hole and those pots will fit r right in there. And I fasten them down so they don't move. Um, it's important because sometimes if, if they're loose and you're applying pressure with the s soldering iron, they can kind of rotate and you want to keep them in place to make sure everything um, uh, is, is, doesn't move around. So if you can kind of set something like this and if you have some old pots, that's really a great kind of uh, way to practice. I have an old switch here that um, I can use to kind of practice not only to uh, attach some wires to but also practice even just removing any sort of solder with let's say the solder sucker or even the solder braid. So best thing to do is just use some old pots. Another thing that's kind of nice is if you have some um, some extra lead wire um, even if it's not like this pushback wire a braided kind of wire where you have to kind of twist those can be um, kind of good things to practice. Some of our lead wires on our on our, hump, um, our pickups use that type of wire. Some of them have even a um, kind of a plastic coating, and those are kind of good to practice with if you can find some because that plastic coating will melt pretty quickly, and it'll kind of give you an indication if you're heating the wire too much, um, and you know, it, or if you're accidentally touching it, you're kind of burning the insulation. So. This cloth wire is a little bit harder to tell sometimes, so try to see if you can get a you know a variety of wire to try it on, and practice kind of tinning them and and making sure that again everything's clean and that the solder is kind of flowing through that wire. What's nice about the Helping Hands? It's a great practicing aid. Uh, you can attach a lead wire to this, and then just kind of practice tinning the wires. And so what I'm going to do here is just kind of practice a little bit going to heat this element up. Again, we're going to heat one side of it and we're going to try to get it to flow nicely across that. And you don't need a lot of solder when you're tinning the wires. And you know, try it again. Like, you know, take this off, get your clippers here. Try it again. Maybe maybe try a little bit more um, a longer length of the wire this time. So let's say if I wanted to tin this amount of wire here. I got a little bit more. And this is just what's what's kind of nice about this is it, it's going to teach you to be able to tin the length of the wire. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start at the base here where where the cloth meets and once I get this flow I'm just going to kind of work my way up making sure it's all covered. And you can tell when you have it tinned because you can see that it's a little bit it's shiny and that's a, a good indication. Shiny is always a good indication and that looks pretty good. So here's an old switch. This is a good one to practice cleaning off the solder. So I'm just going to clip off a little bit of this braid here and see if I can get this braid to work. There we go blow that braid across it and that open that did a nice job of opening up that terminal. And this one here I'm going to try. This one it, it feels like it's got some wire already in it that's stuck. Yeah this is where it gets a little tricky if there's like sometimes you get wire all this kind of gunk in the terminal. 
So it's kind of good practice to be able to get in there fast and, and uh, uh, clean it up without, without overheating it. There we go.